let's get our yoga practice going. So uh, meet me on your mat. And I start like this a lot. And I really want to encourage you. I'm working a lot with corporations these days. And when I work with the corporations, I give them a challenge <clears throat> to stand up and fold over five times a day. I do this all the time, but do it with bent knees and do it with a long spine. So watch, don't do this. Can you see the difference? That where I'm rounding from here, make your spine long, bend your knees and from your pelvis tilt. Okay, enough technical stuff. Spread your toes, breathe in. Open your mouth and let something go. Take the crown of the head long away from the pelvis as you breathe in. Spread your toes. Fold forward and broaden the back. Let something go. Do one more inhale. And exhale. Bring more weight onto the toes than the heels. Now bring the feet together. Inhale slowly, reach up and arch back. And take a few more breaths. And even though it's still bright where you are, the stars are still up there. Breathe them in. They don't go anywhere. We just can't see them. And bring your hands over the chest. Pause. And take a few more breaths. I just want to give you your time to breathe long and deep, feeling your side ribs moving. Get center, relax your throat, open the mouth, and breathe into your heart, right, right on your heart, with your breath, with your intention, what you want to manifest and bring out into the world. And when you breathe out, I want you to breathe out excuses in doubt and breathe in something beautiful see it happening how much better will your life be when you bring this out into the world and how much better will the life be of others all right everybody all breath out hands down this is a real sun salutation. Inhale, reach your arms up. Get Exhale, fold forward and stretch out your back. Look up and breathe in. Come on back into a Chaturanga push-up position. Now light up your chest and breathe in. Upward dog, we're expanding that front body. And exhale, press back into a downward facing dog shape. Inhale, breathe in and lengthen the hips back. Exhale, press off your palms and make your spine longer. Do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Do one more long breath. Now, since it's Leo energy, stick your tongue out, lion breath. Feet come forward between the hands, get long in your spine, lengthen. And fold forward, stretch out your back. Inhale, reach the arms up high. And exhale, hands come down. Let's do it one more time, maybe a tiny bit faster. Inhale, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, fold and stretch out the back. Inhale, re-lengthen your spine. Exhale, back we go into a push-up, bend your elbows, chaturanga, out breath. Now really breathe in good vibrations. And exhale, press back, lengthen the spine. Inhale, one. Exhale it out, quiet your mind. Some people were looking for a more clear mind. That's all you want to manifest. Start now, breathe in. And exhale, breathe out any confusion. Inhale clarity. And stick your tongue out, breathe out your past, let something go. 
Bring the feet forward between the hands, lengthen the spine, breathe in. And fold forward, stretch out your back and breathe out. Inhale, reach up, we're long. And the hands come quietly down. So this is one of my favorite ways of warming up everyone. It goes like this. Inhale, reach up and arch back, take a big breath. Exhale, fold forward and stretch. Now there's going to be four movements coming up, all length with the breath. Breathe in and lengthen. Take your left foot back into a lunge, stay in your toe mound. If it hurts your toe, roll your thigh slightly in your left thigh. Now inhale, drop your left knee one inch from the floor. As you reach up, take a big breath. Straighten your right leg and stretch into a pyramid. Now inhale, turn your right toe open, reach up and take a big breath. So that's my right arm coming up. Now turn your right foot back forward, come back one more time into pyramid pose and breathe out. Lift your right leg up in a one leg dog, breathe in. Lower down into a push up and breathe out. Glide up and over your toes for your beautiful upward dog shape. Glide on back to a downward dog and breathe out. Now again, the right leg lifts up, it's the right leg up. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Keep your back left leg straight now. Inhale, reach up in a high lunge. Exhale, straighten your right leg and stretch in pyramid. Bring both feet together. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Fold forward and stretch out your back. Inhale, reach up, arch. Big exhalation on the way over, stretch. Look up and breathe in. Now it's the right foot this time that goes back. You're ready for our four movements. Inhale, Anjani Asana is the first one. Reach up, pyramid pose, Parshvatonasana, breathe out. Like a lizard pose, inhale, reach up with your left arm. Turn a little bit to the left. Exhale, face back forward, head comes towards chin, pyramid, breathe out. Inhale, left leg up high, breathe in. Come on down into a push up and breathe out, empty. Up and over the toes, deep breath in, upward dog. And then glide on back, downward dog. So we're gonna finish this side. Left leg lifted high, spread your toes. Step that left foot forward between the hands. Now inhale, come into a high lunge. If you can, arch back a little. Straighten your left leg and stretch it out, pyramid. Join the feet together, breathe in. Fold forward and stretch all that breath out. Inhale, reach up and arch back, lengthen. Now fold forward, we'll do it a little bit faster now that you know the movements, breathe out. Inhale, lengthen. Left foot back in a lunge, breathe out. Inhale, arms go up, big breath in, hello, new moon. Exhale, straighten your right leg and stretch. Inhale, reach up, the right arm does like this backstroke. Exhale, front crawl, straighten your right leg, very Olympics inspired. Inhale, right leg high, breathe in. Exhale, lower down into your push-up. Drink in the air, breathe in, this breath is precious. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Right leg lifted up, press your toe mount like a Taekwondo kick, we say. And step your right foot forward into a high lunge. Inhale, let your hands sweep back, open your heart to the sky. Exhale, straighten your right leg and salute the earth underneath us and all its creatures. Join the feet, inhale long in the torso. Fold forward and stretch. How good do these warm ups feel? One more round each side. Inhale, reach up, arch back, breathe in. Fold forward and stretch out your back. Now elongate and breathe in. Take your right foot back into a high lunge, heel up. Inhale, drop your knee a little bit, but keep it hovering open. Straighten the left leg, stretch in pyramid. You got the pattern. Inhale, follow your hand, it knows what to do. Open up, breathe in joy. Exhale, straighten your left leg, hand frames it and ground. Inhale, left leg up high, breathe in. Last round, lower down into a push-up. Now for real, inflate your lungs, drink in the atmosphere. Exhale, glide on back, downward dog, hips go high. 
Left leg lifted up, step it forward. Nice high lunge, inhale, arch back, arch back, arch back. Exhale, straighten your left leg and stretch. Last time like this for a while, inhale, join the feet top of the mat. Uttanasana, everybody, feet, toes spread wide. Inhale, reach up and arch. And then take your right foot back into a lunge as you breathe out. Not a lunge into side warrior pose. Reverse your warrior. Breathe in. So that's my right leg back. Reverse your warrior. Open up and take a few breaths and just expand joyously through the side body as you sink down through your tailbone. Breathe into your right thigh. Sometimes, by the way, technically I like to bring my right hand on the back of the right thigh and I pull the leg bone back into my hand as I press my hand into the thigh. That helps to really get the action in that right leg. Open up a few more breaths. Now straighten your left leg. Now we're gonna do a different version of triangle pose. I call this surfer's triangle. So use my right hand. Sweep your right hand over the head as you do this. Keep your left hand on your left thigh. So it's like a triangle pose, but I'm reverse karate chopping that right hand over the head with an option to keep bringing that left hand down lower if you want more. Arch and open, press your pelvis to the right. Inhale in, exhale it out. Do one more. Now hands come down and frame your left foot. Do a nice long stride, let your right heel come up. If it's okay for your leg, breathe in. Watch when I breathe in, I don't know if you can see this, but when I breathe in, my head goes forward two or three inches and my right foot activates. When I breathe out, my hips go back three or four inches as I fold, which will really help to get the stretch in the underside of left leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do it again, big breath in. And elongate, exhalation, let it go. Now lift your left leg up high, upwards towards the sky. And then step your left foot, just listen really carefully to the outside of the right hand. Now this is called IT Love. And the regulars will know it, but if you're new to practicing with me, you may have never done it before. So here you go, see I'm on my left foot with my toe up. Now what I, and by the way, my left leg is across the body. It's over here, I've cross-stepped it over to the right. All right, now I spin my left foot and bend my left knee a little. And then from the outer left foot, my sole of the foot's not on the floor, this is the little toe side. I press my left hip back as I send my right hip and right hand forward like this. Can you see? Do that. Now from your right ankle, like you're on a rotisserie, spin your right thigh towards the left and reach your left arm upwards towards the sky. Or if that's too much, Keep your hands on the floor. Stretch open your left IT band with breath. Two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in one more time. And hands come to the floor. Step back into a one leg downward dog. Lift your left leg up. Lower down again into a push up. Inhale, expand your chest and upward dog. And glide on back, downward dog. Bring both feet now together between the hands, lengthen your spine, fold forward, and we'll set up for the same beautiful poses on the next side. Inhale, reach up, manifest, good breath. And exhale, step your left foot back into a warrior position. Now when you breathe in, Feel like someone's pulling your tailbone down and feel like someone's lifting you up by your armpits, arch back. You can breathe into the back of the left leg by pressing your hand there and sink down so you start to feel a stretch in the left inner groin as well as the right uh, rib area. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do one more, get into the stretch. The surfer's triangle, all we do, we kind of add a back bend and a side bend. So the right hand comes down to triangle pose. The left hand sweeps over the head and your head goes back. 
I can stay way up here. They should feel the stretch. You know we're trying to feel it in the front of the left psoas, in the front of the hip flexors, left side. And if you bring that right hand down, that may be too much or it may be perfect. Make it fit you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go again. Now slowly bring that left hand down. Let your left heel lift up. Again, breathe in and really get length in your spine. Your hips lift up. As you breathe out, you shift your hips back. Your left heel goes back and we fold forward. Now just say nothing. Just let the breath circulate to the underside of the right leg. You and your breath go. One more out breath. Right leg lifted high upwards towards the sky. One leg down. And then take your right foot and step it across the body. This time you're going to turn and do this one facing you. But you don't have to turn your mat. I just want you to see that my head is here over, like in the middle, and my right foot is lifted up, or right leg is stepped over to the left. I'm on my heel, my right heel. Okay, so you probably do it with your back left knee up. And then I'm going to spin my, le my right foot. So I'm just on the little toe of that right foot. And I press my right hip back as I press like a shot put. I throw a shot put with my left arm and I spin that left thigh inwards. And I'm trying to stretch my outer right hip. And if I want more, I go ahead and lift that right arm up. So you can see from with this front angle on the camera how my leg has gone across the body. I'm pulling my right hip back continuously. I'm elongating. So it's kind of like a revolve triangle, but this will definitely target your glute medius and IT band. Do two more. Now the hands come down onto the mat. I'm just going to return here. One leg downward dog, right leg goes up. And we lower down into a push up. And then we breathe in clean, conscious breath. And then glide on back. Downward dog. That's amazing. Now. Bring the knees down onto the floor. Bring the hands up onto the hips. I really love camel pose. I find it's very accessible. And just one thing, since many people mentioned in the comments about how they want to up-level their game, by the way, what happens to most people is they fall backwards and this pose is miserable. Go up and forward from your feet with your chest, up and forward. You can even take your hands and point with me, your sternum, it goes up that way. And as you reach your hands, if you want to, for your heels, you want to feel like someone's still pulling me. It's like someone has my left hand and they're pulling me up and forward. I got to keep that forward lift. If you lose that, one, you lose the stretch, two, you more potential of hurting your lower back, and three, you feel unstable and end up tightening your butt. Breathe in, breathe out, find your version. Do one more. And then come on out. Downward dog, everybody. Now in downward dog, I want you to bring your chest forward. Ready? Leo season. We are going to lion breath in. Stick your tongue out and press your forehead towards your feet. Go. Inhale, come through into like an upward dog. When you breathe out, press through into Anahatasana, downward dog, and stick your tongue out. Clear. Now bring both feet forward between the hands, get long in your spine, fold forward and get a beautiful stretch. Inhale, reach up, arch and open and exhale. Let your hands come down. Just pause for a second and reconnect to the universe. All right. Step your left foot back into a lunge. Reach your left hand forward. We're just going to slow the pace down a little and really access where we were opening up before the side of the hips in a, in a twist. Left hand forward. Bring that left elbow around the right thigh. Can you see my hand is on my thigh? I'm really getting my elbow around, not up here. 
I'm trying to get my elbow around. All I'm trying to say is use your hand. I talk about this almost every time I teach it now because most people don't. Now, I don't know if you can see me, but here's me going from a high place to a low. Hopefully you can see me. Now what I want to do is go from a low place to a high. So watch, instead of collapsing, I go up and back. Here's collapsed, here's elongated. I elongate out through the crown. And without losing that, I can bring left hand down, right hand up, and take lots of breath. You sweep that hand around. Take one more long one. I hope you feel this in your side waist. Hands to the floor. Join both feet together, lengthen. And fold forward and stretch. Inhale, come all the way up and arch back. And hands come down, recenter. And since we're manifesting things, it's good to be clear about everything in our life in this practice. So we're gonna get clear about what we're trying to open. You can take your hand, just rub it down the outer left thigh, this outer left hip. We call it a spinal twist. That's gonna happen, but we wanna not lose the beautiful sensation of stretching the side body. So here we go, everybody. From the top, um, we're going to take our right foot back into a nice deep lunge. So go ahead and go as deep as your body lets you in, but not more. Now, breathe in, left hand, left thigh. And to your own degree, bring your elbow around here. Now, if you are more, not quite so open, you can stay up high like this. Just don't collapse. Now press, again from the back, here's me collapsed. Here's me elongating the right heel back and the crown forward and going up. Collapsed, up. Just keep that upward trajectory. You can still keep relaxing down, left arm up. Right hand down if you want more. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale something out. Inhale, do it again. And exhale. Frame your left foot. Top of the mat, join both feet together. I hope you felt the places that we touched the side body. And exhale, go ahead and fold. Inhale, reach up, arch and expand. And as you breathe out, take your right foot and step back into a super wide stride position. All right, it's good to see everybody practicing. Once I face this way, this is good. Okay, hands on the hips. Make a promise to me. I will not lose the most important muscle in the body. Probably one of them is the diaphragm. When I breathe in, it goes down, and that makes my spine longer. If I let my back round too much, I lose the effect of that spinal length with the diaphragm. Hands on the hips, breathe in, get your diaphragm, and then we'll fold forward and stretch, stretch, stretch on the way over. No rush. Now I'm bending my knees so I can really feel the effect of the diaphragm to make my spine long. And I really get my hip flexors working to tilt my pelvis, lifting the sit bones up in the back, finding my feet, make it a breathing exercise number one, make it about a spinal length number two, and make it about back body muscles and fascia stretching number three. So go ahead and straighten your legs maybe. And find your breath in rhythm. Now let's breathe in one and exhale it out. Take your hands anywhere that works for you. Inhale, expand anywhere that feels tight. And exhale, diffuse that tightness out through an open mouth. And do one more. Now, come on up for a second. Lion season, just give me your jungle cat like. Good, turn to the back now. Turn to the back. I wanna just take a little time to set this one up. I call this exalted li uh, lizard. Exalted liver is a pretty good pose too, actually. Thank your liver, it's beautiful. Okay, now my toes are pointed towards the right. My hips now, so a little bit to the right, my hips start to shift towards the right also as my head goes left. 
Now I'm staying on the back left toe mound. If it hurts your toe mound, roll your thigh in more and then you won't get so much that MTP joint, the right uh, left foot. Reach your left arm up. And maybe if you have the range, you might not, you might just keep it up. But if you have the range, hold your left thigh and pull your thigh back into your hand. Let your head go back, arch and open. And you should feel something beautiful in your hips. Open, breathe in. You can let your right thigh roll out a little, breathe out. Do one more time. I bring that right hand back down and we're spinning. So now I'm facing the front of my mat. If you lost your orientation, it's my left foot forward. Let your left foot roll out, okay? Let your right thigh roll slightly in, reach your left arm up. Now, hips press in opposition to the head. So the head goes back to the right, my hips go left, my sternum goes forward as my right heel goes back. And maybe I have the range to hold on to my back right thigh. And when I breathe in, my right hip lifts up from the floor. And when I breathe out, my left thigh kind of drops down. Make it feel good. Drink in this moment, this present moment. Left arm up. A spin back to a parallel feet position. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out and fold. Now interlace your hands behind you. Broaden the chest. Pull the arms up over top of the body. Prasarita Padottanasana C position, we used to call Nashtanga. Breathe in. Breathe out. In again. Exhale it out. Now, when you breathe right into the front of the shoulders, especially if you're like me and on your phone way too much, the phones are giving us all slow motion whiplash. Expand the front of your neck with breath. And breathe out. Hands come to the floor. Now, inner groins, everybody. The regulars will know I love this one, but I do it all the time in my own practice. Just walk your feet out to the edges of the mat, Salmo Konasana, lateral splits. I just want you to feel into your inner groins. And as we say a lot, feel the feeling of peace, embodied peace, and not trying to make some shape as in cheerleading tryout. Breathe in to what's tight. Breathe out through an open mouth. Now, have you gone too far? Or can you still keep finding this hedonic point, this point that's still intense, but also slightly pleasant? Breathe out. Now, if you're wondering about time, we're gonna stay for 20 more seconds, so do two more breaths. Breathe in fully to your inner groins. Relax your face as you breathe out. Do one more, try and keep your hips in line with your heels. And open your mouth, let it go. Now bring your hands under your shoulders. Thank you, God. S, walk your heels a little bit closer together. Spin towards the front of your mat and drop your right knee down. Now, Walk that left foot when you're ready over to the right. So we're setting up for pigeon. Now I'm pressing the top of the foot slightly into the floor. If you let the heel come in too close under the body like this, then it will take the stretch away from the hip. So try and move your left heel as far forward as feels comfortable for you and don't worry about getting your hips on the floor. Now for me personally, if you have the range, I like to hold on to my left foot with my right hand and I lift my hips up and I slide my left knee and my right knee back. That's too much, back up. The same idea, reach forward with your right hand like you're doing like a shot put, Olympic style, track and field, and lower down. And from my right ankle, I'm spinning, rotating my whole body towards the left. Now that will lift the left hip slightly up off the floor, but it will intensify the stretch. Breathe in, soften and breathe out. Let your hands go wherever it feels natural. Let something soften. Now you don't have to try too hard. Just let tightness out. And let new energy, new beginnings in.
Do it one more time. And then through an open mouth, release something. Hands come under your shoulders. And we'll step back to a nice downward facing dog. Okay. We're winding things down. Drop the left knee down, take the right foot forward. You can touch back here if you want to remind yourself of what our target area is. With like bow and arrow, you need to see the target. Too often, we're just kind of hitting the we're hitting the general target, but not getting a bullseye in yoga. This yoga is about getting a bullseye really precisely getting into the right hip here. So lift your hips up and slide them back if you want more. You need your hands to here. A lot of people try and take their hands away, but I want you to press your hips back with your hands as you use your breath and reach forward through your shoulders. And then shift down slowly. There's not a big rush to descend down. And with your breathing, calm your internal chakra hormonal system. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in peace. And exhale out striving. More calm, center on inhalation. And let go of fear as you breathe out. All fears, let them go. Bring the weight onto the right hip. Swing both feet forward now, so we're hitting Paschimottanasana. Plant your heels down with bent knees. Use your hands and lift your butt up, and then pull back so you come onto the front edge of the sit bones. From the heels and the sit bones in your diaphragm, go up and imagine a bar right here. And it's like you have to lift, so here in front of your hip joints, it's like you have to lift up and over that bar in exhalation. Now, if I stop here with my hands behind me, that's cool, I elongate my spine. Knees can be bent. Now just find your place as we breathe slowly, deeply into a new shape. We'll take a few more breaths from our Yogic by Nature course. We studied the Tao Te Ching a lot, and it says in the Tao Te Ching that if you are rigid, you are a disciple, a disciple of death. And to be supple is to be a disciple of life. And our thoughts become more rigid with age. We harden into this established personality and go with the flow less. Flow with your body here. Flow with your breath. Lengthen your neck and we'll just take about 20 more seconds, how about? So three long breaths. And soothe. And then come on up. All right. Bend your left leg, last pose. Take your right foot up and over, Ardha Matsi and Dhrasana. You can always straighten your bottom left leg, everybody. Okay. Now I'm lifting my hips up and I'm sliding them to the left a little. And what I need to do with my right thigh is lift it up with my hands and then over. So I'm pressing it on a diagonal across the body, either by pulling with my forearm or bringing my elbow around and turning my rear deltoid and lat muscle on to pull my elbow back. Now I'm using the hands on the floor behind me to get long. And I'm breathing out. Now I get long again, I can close my eyes. You can take a deeper hand position if you want to. Let something go as you breathe out. Pull your right hip back. Turn from your right hip, pulling back as your right knee goes across the body. 
do one more. And then put one on back. Let's do our other side, but before we do, have you read Homo Deus, everybody? It's about how the algorithms in the clouds, Google, Facebook, will know us better than we know ourselves. That's scary to me. I don't mind algorithms, but we gotta keep knowing ourselves. So I just want you to stay in touch with your feelings as you're doing this. We cannot lose connection to how we feel in life. So bring the left knee across the body, pull it. Lift your left hip up and pull it back. You can bring your right elbow around if you want to, but no matter what, that left knee has to go up and across the body as you turn from the left hip and let your left shoulder follow. I plant my left hip down to help leverage my head longer using the diaphragm. And I close my eyes and breathe out and as the great Obi-Wan Kenobi told Luke Skywalker, trust your feelings. Turn off your computer, so find the feeling of peace, mind for it. And breathe out resistance. Do one more time. And then come on out nice and slow. Okay, moving towards the end here, everybody. Lie down on your back. And put a blanket on, pillow, get comfortable. And I know in a home practice, it's super easy to become concerned about, you know, the dust bunnies and vacuuming and skip Shavasana. But don't do that because you know where the dust is, everyone? It's on our own hearts. If there's any dust bunnies that need to be removed, it's the one on our hearts. Breathe in and expand your lungs. And exhale, just drop your shoulders down, turn muscles off. Take a few more breaths and every time you breathe out, I just want you to feel heavier in the shoulder and the back rib area. How's the breath doing? forces but there's a little bit just a tiny little bit of a sensation like a trampoline in your belly so it rises the belly button when you breathe in and when you breathe out it comes down as the elastic recoil forces in the lungs kick back on the lower jaw fall away from the upper teeth. You see the star of Sirius is over the pyramid. So just imagine a pyramid with an eye on it and place that on the third eye above the eyebrows. And 
And as the eyes sink into the back of the skull, let your eyes relax and turn on your third eye, intuitive wisdom, knowledge of the cosmos. As your belly button moves, just feel that you're not just bringing in more oxygen into the body, but almost through your forehead, your mouth, you're bringing in more golden light. Because our minds tend to live in a state of stimulation and agitation from fears and desire. Our tissues lock up tight. So again, just turn muscles off and let not just the muscles around your chest and diaphragm help with breath. Allow the whole body to be breathed as we soften our musculature. Last 20 seconds, more peace, more light. seat it. And if you do have a blanket, fold it so uh, you can make a downhill slope. If you don't have a blanket, use your sweatshirt again, pillow, anything you got around you. Close your eyes, find a seat. Don't feel like I sit any certain way. Um, just a few minutes, everybody. Asana, the poses, are kind of like the warm-up band when you go to a concert. This is the main act right here. There's a length in the crown. And there's a feeling of sinking in the hips and there's this beautiful feeling of broadness in the back. And I like to remind people that when you breathe, there should be a little bit of movement in the back also of the shoulder blades, let's say. And the breath is slow. And the thoughts known as chitvritis are more calm. Okay. 
statistically, on average, the human mind has 48 thoughts per minute. As you slow your breath down, just feel and say to yourself, inhale. And exhale, so those chitvrittis, those thoughts start to rev at about 10 or 15 thoughts per minute. Slow them down. Feel the inhales. And feel the exhales. Seeing everything through the lens of the Yoga Sutras these days, what you will feel when you can slow down those thoughts is something we call Samadhi, which is not a monkey mind scrambling from branch to branch, but a very focused mind. And focus it on light. Bring in light. Breathe out, just let darkness out. Worries, let them go. Bring your hands up and put your thumbs on your sternum. And then the gesture the yogis taught us is to keep the pinkies together but separate the fingers. So you've made this blossom, this lotus with your palms. And now imagine a mouth where your thumbs are and through your heart ex itself, drink in the light of creation. And share your energy with everyone doing this practice. Send your energy to those suffering right now. And just let that big, beautiful heart of yours get even bigger and even brighter, inflate your balloon. And to close, bring your hands together, drop your head down. It's not for me to tell you what to believe in, but I do want to ask you what is a power greater than you? Whatever that power is, your wish, what you want to manifest, what you want to bring out into the world, this would be a very good time to ask. All right, everybody, um, the world needs your incredible energy, your gifts, your talents, what you want to manifest in the world. Never forget that. 
for you manifesting it seems like a selfish thing sometimes and some people have a hard time like oh i don't want to make it about me i want to make it more altruistic but no the world needs what you have to share and um, bring that out fearlessly so thank you for your vibrations uh, it's been beautiful to share this energy this time um, it all ends soon so take advantage of every day you possibly can gracias everybody